Hey everybody, Michael here. Welcome to the Sky's the Limit Aviation YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another quick Lightroom Classic edit. This week it's going to be a Turkish Airlines Cargo 777-200, which luckily came in on the north side of Atlanta Airport several months back, which is a pretty lucky catch for me because normally most cargo, with the exception of UPS, <clears throat> excuse me, in FedEx, go to the South Cargo. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and open up Lightroom Classic, and we've already got the photo queued up. And we're also going to do something a little bit different with this photo. There is a relatively new feature in Lightroom Classic, which allows you to separate the sky from the subject that you're working on, and allows you to give it some enhancement without affecting the actual subject itself. So let's go ahead and get started with the usual. We're going to go ahead and hit our spot removal. We'll look for any spots or defects in the photograph. And here we've got one right here. And we got one right here in this corner. And that appears to be it. Go ahead and close out of that, scroll down to lens correction, remove the chromatic aberrations, enable the profile collection corrections, excuse me. And we will go ahead and crop our photo in. And again, make sure that on your left and right of the aircraft you want to bring it in as close as possible especially if you're going to be uploading it to jet photos etc we're going to put a little bit of a flare here so we'll adjust that just slightly and we will adjust the fuselage so it's centered in this second third and we are good to go here and again, first thing that we usually do is we're going to go ahead and check our whites. And we have a few hot pixels here all the way to the left on the slider. And as you can see, we have a couple. So we're just going to go ahead and back off and just choose that kind of mid happy medium that we usually do. Do our blacks next like we usually do. And as you can see, right there around the main landing gear, there's that one little hot pixel but we'll go ahead and we'll add some, remove some blacks, and then we'll back off until that spot disappears. We shouldn't have to do anything else on the blacks. Go ahead and adjust the exposure. And again, just add some exposure until the photo starts to look a little bit washed out, and then just back off of it, maybe one or two. This is kind of a almost at the beginning of golden hour shot, although there's still a lot of sunlight left, but you can kind of see the colors in the clouds are starting to get a little, little bit purplish. And we'll come in and highlight in on the landing gear. We're going to add a few shadows, bring out the highlights in the main gear, front gear is okay. And we'll play with the contrast a little bit. 30 should just about do it. Highlights, we're going to subtract off some highlights. And we'll go ahead and play with the dehaze just a little bit. I find anywhere between zero, <clears throat> excuse me, Zero and nine or ten usually does the trick, and you can see it brings out a little bit more of that purple color. And we'll play around again in that later with the mask feature. And we'll come on down to the noise reduction, give it a little bit of luminance. That should about do it right there. Make sure all the artifacts are out. Make sure the fuselage looks nice and smooth. 
and then we'll come up to the sharpening and again you want to sharpen it just enough where you're bringing out this Boeing 777 freighter registry looks good give it a little bit more noise reduction but just a tiny bit just a hair give that just a little bit more sharpening and that should do it about right there should be good so now let's go ahead and play with this mask feature now I discovered the mask feature in a recent video that was done back last year the feature itself was brought into Lightroom around the tail end of last year but I didn't discover it until I saw this video so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the masking icon right here and you'll get this new dialog box if you've never seen it and you have the option to add two new masks one where you can select the subject itself or select the sky and what we're going to do is we're going to select the sky we're going to isolate it so any edits that we make to the sky are not going to affect the aircraft so we'll go ahead and hit that it takes a couple seconds for it to detect the sky you get this dialog box here and you can see it's done a really good job selecting the sky so we're going to go ahead and uncheck the show the overlay because we don't need it we want to see what we're doing and then using the dialog box below you can adjust the photograph without affecting the subject and just to just to let you know anytime that you make changes on the sliders you have to uncheck the overlay box so we're going to go ahead and add some extra contrast and as you can see it really starts to pop on the contrast on the clouds here's a before and there's an after for you and you can also play with the highlights we're gonna add some negative highlights here to further bring out the sky in the background some more color to the clouds shadows whites blacks you really don't need to play with give it a little dehaze and it brings even some more definition to the clouds as you can see here here's dehaze at zero and even just adding just the slightest bit of dehaze you can see I've got nine in there right now nine ten really makes those clouds stand out nice and you can also play with the tint if you want to and the temperature as well but we won't mess with those and there's nothing else that you need to do once you're done with the mask you just unclick it and it's already applied to the photograph there's no need to merge the masks or any layers and that is about it on this photo so looks really good from here we've brought out some nice contrast and color to the clouds making them kind of pop really nice since again this was kind of a pre golden hour photograph and then we'll go ahead and export
and exporting always takes a second or two to accomplish and our photograph is exported and let's go to our photo exports and and there's our photo right here all nice and processed looks great clouds look fantastic nice blue sky nice purplish tinge to the clouds nice and clear on the registry everything else and you're all set to upload this up to jet photos or whatever sharing site that you prefer and that's going to do it for this afternoon's edit and again thank you so much for checking out my youtube channel hope you learned something today please like comment subscribe it lets me know that you appreciate my content and gives me the incentive gives me the incentive to come up with more content in the future by the way a couple of big videos coming up in the next couple of weeks possibly to a month it's going to be a hartsfield airport spotting guide where we look at the top 10 areas around the airport that you can spot at. It'll have uh, location info, best lens to use to spot aircraft from that particular location, do's and don'ts, and lots of other stuff coming up. So again, appreciate you checking my channel out today. Again, like, comment, subscribe to my channel, please. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.